Put the folks back in the house. What's good, YouTube? This your boy Fly Rich coming back at it. Just giving you a little update on what's going on with the puppies and how they doing. As you can see, they doing very good. Um, I just put them on. I, well, I ain't just put them. I had them on as that goat milk for a good little minute and they getting a lot of girth. And uh, looking looking good, man. It's your boy Young Boy over here. We got Young Boy in love on the scene right now. Young Boy, come here. Come here, Young Boy. As you can see, man, this boy is looking damn good. Big head, real bulky, real short. Look at his chest, his feet, his short legs. I mean, he gonna be real nice. And the patterns on him, it's just perfect. He got perfect, look at his face. He got perfect patterns in his face and everything. Nice blue eyes. I know them eyes might change a little. It might end up being hazel. And right here, we got a little love. She is full of love right now. And she was lit right now. She happy. Playing. Her and little Rocky, my little house dog. Nobody never told me how bad these little house dogs are. And he's a little bad little house dog. He's a shorty. Uh, I guess he's a shit suit mixed with a Yorkie. And that's how he made this little guy right here. And yeah, he's, he's a whole lot different than a pit bull, I'll tell you that now. And he don't listen. But we still love him. Right here, we got big boy Kane. He's the biggest one out of the whole litter. He's a big, heavy, solid male. I would pick him up right now, but like I said, he's been playing all morning, so they're real tired, but this is big Kane, man. We got so many people want this dog, but I'm just not ready to release him yet. I mean, he is ready to be, to be released, but I want to release him in a comfortable position. I want to make sure whoever I release him to they're gonna be, able, you know, be able to take care of this dog. Cause I hate to see a dog that look this good go to waste. He's very big, and yeah, we deworm them. They just eat a lot. We feed them all day, man. We just let them eat, 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 eat. You know what I'm saying? We don't stop them from eating. I got the best dewormer, the best shots, the best vaccines for my puppies. I spend top dollars from when it come to when it come to my dogs, my family. So. There's no limit to that. See, right here, I had to go find him, but this is Lucky. He's tired right now. Rock, Rocky's aggravating him. Come here, Lucky. Rocky's aggravating him. He real tired. I just wanted to get him on video. I know he's tired. I don't want to be bothered. Move, move, Rocky. See, I'm talking about your little house dog, so aggravating. They don't listen. Rocky, move. But this is Lucky. You know, he's real tired right now. Like I said, they were just playing around. Them boys tired. They ready to go to sleep. And little Lucky won't leave them alone. But when they go, when they go to playing with him and biting on him, he want to cry and squeak. Sound like a little dog toy when they nipple on him. And, you know, little as he is, they still heavier than him. They're still heavier than him, more solid, of course, because they, you know, they are bullies. They are made to be heavy and solid, big dogs. So, and I'm going to take you to the back so we can meet the big dogs. Yeah, that's Diamond right there. Don't she look so good? She going on two years. I know y'all probably, y'all remember this dog. If you go back on my videos, you'll see when this dog was a newborn puppy. Matter of fact, uh, I got the video when this dog, before her eyes was open, you'll see her with her brothers. Um, she's from uh, off of Lola and Cypher. Cypher, that little Merle pit bull. I mean, that little Merle bully, bully that I had. And you will see him, if you go back on the videos, you'll see that little short, stalky uh, Merle bully that I had. I bred him with Lola, the famous Lola that y'all are seeing in the videos too. And we came out with Diamond. A big, thick, heavyweight. I mean, got the got a got a man got a, got a male dog body. I mean, real nice, looking real nice. Right here, right here in front of me, we got Paris. Oh, Paris. Paris. She actually no, she actually belongs to a friend of mine. Um, he's a very busy man. No, Paris, get back in here. Get back in here. 
He's a very busy man. She don't, as you see, like I said, he's a very busy man. He never had no time to spend with her. So she don't got too much training right now. I got her around my bitches. She's not used to being around bitches. And like you, you know, like most breeders would know or most people that had dogs, they know about dogs. Uh, it's kind of, you know, it's kind of hard to bring a new grown dog around to a territory, to a territory that's not theirs. So that dog is not, that dog that's in a territory that's not there is really not aggressive. It's really scared because he don't know which way to go, how to defend itself or anything of that type. So she, she came to the yard. She came with a lot of aggression. You know, a lot of, she was like, well, all right, a lot of aggression, but mostly she was just scared. She was just